So this video is going to be over uh, certain things that Rakitic has said over these past few days. I think it's uh, from an interview that he had on Wednesday, May 22nd of 2019. And it's just uh, concerning things that he said about uh, Griezmann, about the young, and just how he's being a toxic player. His first quote talks about, um, if I see him here, I'll shake his hand and I'll tell him that this is not an easy decision to make, the decision to stay and then to leave in a year. Props to Griezmann and his decision. Uh, good players are welcome here. And then the next quote talks, uh, it says, each player um, can come here and we'll be excited. We'll be happy to have them. And also that everyone has their spot. And I'm convinced that he's not coming to my spot because my spot's already taken. And I wish him the best of luck and massive respect. And just this, this is like appalling. This is, this is crazy. Like, I don't know, like if someone has this much authority or thinks they have this much authority in the club that they say that their spot's already taken. Like, I know you're coming. I know Barcelona spent 75 million, but you're not coming to take my spot because it's already taken. Like, I don't know who he thinks he is. I don't know um, that he thinks he's messy or something or on the level of Cristiano. But to me, you can't you can't be saying these outlandish quotes. You can't be saying these type of things um, after, like, the, the things you've been doing in the Champions League. Like, Rakitic, he's a good player. I know he's gotten far in the World Cup. He got to the final. I know he has scored a bunch of good goals for Barcelona. And I know that he has a massive respect for Griezmann. And he thinks that he'll do good here also. But, like, he just can't say these things. Like, I don't I don't know. I don't care who he is. He is not even from La Masia. He hasn't been built up in the club before. Like, he can't just say that, oh, I, I expect Griezmann to come because all the good players come here. Like, who is he? Is he the president of Barcelona? Is he the president of, of the club? Like, after what he's done in the Champions League, like... I, I don't I don't see it like we're becoming a meme because like these these guys in the midfield they can't defend they can't defend the result especially against Liverpool you saw that their physicality their pressure everything that they did like our, our team couldn't keep up and like I know that to a certain extent because these guys are like 30 plus years old and we're expecting them to play 90 plus minutes and like I don't I don't understand like this guy is like playing like 120 130 minutes each game in the world cup because like his team couldn't score and like barcelona is having the same problem like we're lucky we have messi but we can't always depend on him because the the club goes on like there's something past there's something like the club has to keep moving forward after messi and like i don't see him being here as the same for like these type of players like i i feel that there needs to be changes in Barcelona. There needs to be players that come in that are younger, that are going to put a different type of energy than these players that are, that are on the screen. Like, for me, the ones that got to go are Rakitic, Humtiti, um, and Coutinho because they just, like, Humtiti's been getting injured too much and he's not playing anymore. Coutinho uh, has come, but he hasn't been what we thought he would be. He probably was good in Liverpool and probably the quotes that Klopp said that of him being a... Uh, a legend in Liverpool but he will just be another player here it's true because like we have a certain standard and our standards are built on excellence that's why we win trebles we're not like just any other club we've won three trebles in like the past 10 years I mean 20 years and we just can't lower our standards just because these players aren't fit enough for our club like we know what we want like these two that are uh, supposedly gonna come well the young is coming for sure but the league maybe will come like they're they're the future they're, you can build your team around them for like the next 10 years and like i don't i don't know what racketish thinks he is like just because he scored like these amazing goals against tottenham or his amazing goal against madrid i i don't know like yes he has class i'm not gonna lie he's he's world class he's he's ex experienced and um, the goals that he scored, they're nice. The the chip over Courtois, the one against Tottenham, um, the other goal against Madrid. But for me, we should just sell him. Like, I've seen him being linked with Inter Milan. We should just sell him automatically because 
why why wouldn't we sell him like why why wouldn't we just cash out like 60 million 70 million 50 million i don't know how much they ask for a 32 year old he's already getting old we have to pay him so much wages and for me it's just like on a business aspect it's not convincing like it's not favorable like i'd rather get a younger guy who's gonna do the job and is gonna be running on those games that matter in the champions league instead of having some 32 year old guy thinking that he's like the the best player out there thinking like he's messy level and just saying that um my spot's already taken like who do you think you are like how does this guy play double amount of minutes of vidal and and arthur and that's just another question like how does record just play four thousand minutes in the in like all competitions and then vidal plays like 115 like a thousand and fifteen like 1500 and so does like arthur play about that this guy played like like double more than double what we doubt and Arthur played. And he still thinks that he, just because he played more, he's going to keep that. Like, for me, we already have good players. We have Ricky Pugh. For me, he should be playing, like, day in, day out. Like, he's already showed his quality. To me, he needs to be in the first team automatically. Like, Rakitic is here. He's 32-something years old. We're playing him a massive amount of wages. And, like, we have Ricky Pugh on the bench. Like, what the freak is that? Like, he should be in, in the in the team already like he needs these years of formation Alanya as well we have a bunch of uh, p- kids or a bunch of younger players that are already coming up through our system from La Masia and we're not giving them a chance because these old guys think that they're like the amos like they're like the best people here like they think that oh I have years of formation oh I've won titles here like I don't care what you've done because right now you haven't showed me anything like, I know you won the league. I know you won the AV La Copa del Rey, which will be played, like, this this weekend. But to me, certain drastic changes need to be need to happen. For me, Vidal needs to play more. Like, why isn't this guy being played more? Even if it is an experienced thing, then Vidal needs to be playing. Vidal showed his quality in certain games where, like, most of these dudes are dead. They're, like, brain dead. They can't get two, three passes together. But Vidal is out here, like, winning the ball back at least. Like, I mean, he's not the best player um, for Barca. He doesn't really understand our system, but he's out there grinding. He's out there hustling for the ball. He's out there putting in slide tackles. He's out there winning the ball. He's out there uh, just doing his job as a midfielder, as a one that recovers the ball. Because if you're not going to do the passes, you're not going to score the goals, you got to recover the ball. And that's what Vidal does. That's what we need. And we've had that, like, these past few years with Vidal, with Paulinho, but Vidal has experience. He's been in Bayern. He's been in Juventus. He's been in Bayer Leverkusen. He's gone his way up the ladder. And he's at Barcelona. And, like, I don't know why he's not playing. And why Vid- Rakitic is playing, like, 4,000 minutes. Like, I don't... Like, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, this... He's... Uh, Valverde, he needs to stop submitting himself to these players. Like, how are we going to move forward if these players think that they're the best thing in the club? Like, if Vidal has already proven himself, even with this national team he's beat Messi he's beat Messi's Argentina and not just once but like twice and to me that's just more impressive and just Vidal has more bite he has more gut he has more lecha huevos like suda la camiseta like he 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 knows the crest he knows what this is and he knows the opportunity he gets to be out there and he actually shows it and he's 30 something years old but for me for what he's doing he's also going to show these young ones like what to do as well like, if we get our young ones passing and doing the same system, it's brilliant. Like, I don't know why they sold uh, Paulinho. If we had Vidal and Paulinho in that Liverpool game, I think it'd be a different story. We'd be in the final. Just with, like, a, a midfielder that probably touches better the ball and keeps it and upholds it. But, like, having those two behind him, we would be able to actually be in, in this final. Because sometimes you don't... I know we can't always play our style of play. But in certain games, like that Liverpool game, where English football is more physical, it demands more from the midfield. Like, the midfield, the ball needs to be won there. Because if the ball is always being won by the opposite team, we're not going to do anything. And that's why Barcelona had limited chances. That's why I think, like, Arthur didn't play that game. But it's fine with me. Um, Arthur is, like, a great player. But, like, for that game, I don't, I don't see him fit because, like, uh, it doesn't... It's not a 
he doesn't adapt to that type of style to being fast and quick and uh, guarding the ball and winning it back. He's like more of an elegant player. He's, he was brought for the touch. He was brought to upheld the system. He's really intelligent. He's really good for his size. Um, for me, he's been a great signing. But at the same time, he can't play that much because we have Rakitic, we have Busquets. And at the same time, Busquets, I see him more fit um, to be in this position. Like he could maybe say things like that. But at the same time, I would take him into this into this type of discussion because like I don't I don't see anyone being bigger than the club. Like I don't I don't know what these players think they are. Like Neymar at the same time. Like he basically like it's like if he took your girlfriend, got her pregnant, and then still asked for money later. Um like after what he did to the club. And like just other other people need to be given chances. Like how did we take Malcolm from Roma but not even give him a thousand minutes he's only played about 500 something minutes that's basically like five games six games in total of the whole season like what is that with all his minutes accumulated like he needed to be playing he's a young guy he's a future people say he needs to leave but like basically we didn't even give him an opportunity and just because Griezmann saw that like he can't win with Atletico Oh, I'm going to stay. I'm going to make this build-up production. I'm going to laugh in Barcelona's face, basically, because we said that we wanted him. He said that he wanted to come. He said that he he signed. He was going to sign the contract. We had our plans out, stayed in the summer. And then this dude just makes a documentary just saying, oh, no, I'm going to stay. I'm going to be loyal to the club. But then a year later, it's going to be like, oh, I can't win with Atletico in the Champions League, so I'm going to go to Barcelona because I expect to win because I need to win the Champions League. Like, for me, this club of friends, this thing that we're the best in the world, that, like, we're this, we're that. No. Like, the only one that's the best is Messi. And other than that, like, he needs to be sitting down for some games. And I know that's a crazy accusation. That's, you can't just be saying those type of things. But to me, like, you have to put things in context. Context, Like, when we've been our best, like, when we've won titles is when we have Guardiola. And Guardiola is uh, a man that has discipline and organization. And we need that type of manager. One that's going to take charge of the players and also make them accountable for their actions. And, like, that's why, like, Rakitic would have been gone after, like, the second, third year after he started thinking he's, like, the the amo, the owner, the best, the president, I don't know, whatever, the team, the coach. You're not LeBron James. You're not Lionel Messi. You're not Cristiano Ronaldo. And not even they be saying these crazy things. Like, my spot's already taken. And I know he said that. It wasn't like in the context that what he said, but that's still scary. Like I don't, I don't care who he is. And if you like this video, I hope you give it a like and subscribe for more content. I'll be putting it out as soon as I can, whenever I see something that I need to talk about. And I hope you enjoyed the video.